hey girl hey welcome back to my channel it's your girl misha thank you guys for joining me yet again for another review we are back with a brand new review for ready to love season 7 episode 13 the finale if you are new here then welcome i give lighthearted reviews with a little bit of laughter and a little bit of shade and a whole lot of detail if you're back for a second or third time then welcome back y'all please don't hesitate to like comment and subscribe to the channel share with a friend hit that notification bell so that you will be updated each and every time i upload a video now child let's get into it if we gonna get into it when the episode first opens up everyone is meeting up for the final brunch everybody's looking nice and i have to say the group cleans up well okay they all looking good child and that tendril is still in play okay so Andre claims he's still deciding between Cynthia and Jeffrey. Cynthia is still deciding between Anthony and Andre. So Morgan is speaking with Andre about her doubts about Tommy. And then Tommy shows up. So Tommy said, we have come a long way. Yes, we have, honey. Andre had three different hairstyles since I met y'all. <laughs> no, he has had three different hairstyles at the same damn time. Okay, let's not get confused. Okay, it's all in one. So Tommy tells the ladies that they will be introducing the men to their families. We already know what's going to go on. So let's just get into it. Cynthia was like, you know, everybody knows that, you know, I'm still stuck on who I want to choose. And I don't know which one I'm going to choose. I'm just, it's just so hard. And, you know, being with Andres, I, I, I feel like me being with him, I will make him a better man. Girl, in the next scene, Morgan is introducing Tony to her brother, Harry. So her brother is like, you know, everything is good between y'all right now. You know, y'all in the honeymoon stage. No, they have not had any type of a honeymoon stage. Okay, maybe initially upon meeting each other. Hi, my name is Morgan. Hi, my name is Tony. After that, it was a wrap. They've been acting a fool ever since. So let's just get into that. So she's like, well, I mean, he's had some entanglements, yet you're still carrying on with him. So what else is going on? She's like, you know, I love his aggression. You know, he's from New York. So I'm just like in love with that. So then Tony shows up and her brother wants to know how he handles his New York aggression. So Tony starts explaining, you know, what went down between him and Lyndon. And Harry is like, yeah, I hear you. Okay. But that aggression is a problem. And I don't want to have to come see you. Okay. So you're going to have to get that under control. So in the confessional, Tony was like, you know, I, you know, I don't understand how her brother knows that because her brother doesn't even know me. So obviously Morgan is telling him these things and he wants to know when have I been aggressive to Morgan? Like, why is she even saying that I've never been aggressive to her? So Tony reassures Harry that it ain't gonna be no problems because it ain't gonna never happen again. So then Harry goes, well, if you cared about my sister, then why did you lay down with somebody else? Okay, pause, 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 pause. Y'all need to stop bringing up Natasha. There is no reason for your brother, your mama, me, and you, your mama, and your cousin too. Honey, shout out to Outcast. There ain't no reason for none of y'all to be asking about Natasha. Like, why are y'all worried about that? That has nothing to do with you. So then Tony proceeds to name names yet again. I am so sick of them bringing up this lady. Your sister, Mr. Harry, she decided to move forward. So clearly she accepted what he was doing. Also, they were not a couple at the time. So Tony kept it cool, but I know he was upset that Morgan told her brother all that information about Natasha. I know he was pissed. So in the confessional, Morgan is like, yeah, you know, we don't really show emotion in our family. But the fact that my brother was really just letting Tony know, I know that he really has my back. So Tony gets up, he left and the brother was like, you know, he seems cool. The only thing that bothers me is the aggression. Your sister should worry you as well. She ain't all there either. And also, I don't think Tony is afraid of you, Brother Harry. I just don't think he's afraid of you. Now, don't get me wrong. Something is a little nuts behind Tony's eyes. I ain't gonna lie to you. His aggression would scare me as well. But your sister is just as much of a firecracker as he is. Moving forward. In the next scene, Cynthia invites her cousins and sister to meet Anthony and Andre. And so before they get there, you know, Cynthia is really emotional. And she's just telling them that they know what she's gone through. They've been there through everything. And so she needs their help to decide who she's going to choose. And I was just like, oh, don't cry, Cynthia. I know it's hard. I get it. I get it. You're scared to make the wrong choice. You're like, oh my gosh, this is serious. But all I can say is this. Now that you know what to look for and what you don't want, as soon as you see it, exit stage left. So Andre shows up first. Hey, sir. So they ask him, you know, 
what his intentions are with Cynthia. He's like, I'm, I'm looking for love. Well, duh, the show is called Ready to Love, but what are your intentions with her? Like, ugh. So he tells them, you know, he used to date a 23 year old. Yeah, mm -hmm, you're like, I'm impressionable and whatnot. Talking about no, a mature 23 year old. Uh, sure she was. Anyway, Andre tells them how he was a stepdad and he's still hurting after his breakup. And they're like, so how are you ready? to be in a relationship if you still heartbroken and whatnot. He's like, you know, I don't think anyone is ever ready, but they desire that. So they all looking at him like, what? You don't think anybody is ever ready? He gonna look at Cynthia and say, I don't think everybody's, you know, anybody's ever ready for her. Okay, anywho, Andre is just blowing smoke, talking in circles, ain't nobody got time to play with you. Moving forward. So Anthony shows up and you know, he sits down, he's telling them about himself and how he has a five-year-old daughter, where he works, what he does. So they ask how he feels about having two extra kids. So he was like, I'm used to it, okay? I, I, I grew up with a stepdad. I saw someone come in and love on my mom and she already had children, so I'm used to that. So they also asked Andre how he feels. And Andre was like, well, you know, I've been a stepdad before, you know, but I would love to have my own. Okay, I have a question for you, Andre. Have you been a stepdad or have you just dated a woman with kids? Because there is a difference. <laughs> there is a huge difference. So which one is it? Because I think you're just saying what you think sounds good. Just because you're with a woman that has children does not mean that you're that child's stepfather. Okay, I don't want us to get confused. So again, after he got through talking in circles, he gets up and he leaves. And they're basically, you know, telling Anthony that they want to make sure that he's going to treat Cynthia right or it's going to be some problems. OK, and he was like, oh, y'all threatening me. Yeah, they threaten you a little bit. They threaten you a little bit. Cynthia's sister was just like, it's not just you, though, because as black women, we always have to be so strong. So we really want for her to have a safe space and a person that she can trust and a soft place to land because she deserves that. I know that's right, honey. I'm Look, I am ready for that same thing. At this time in my life, I'm ready to be soft and be loved properly the first time, not after suffering first and then me giving you second and third chances. Hell no. Nah. So Anthony said, you know, that he felt comfortable with her family and he didn't feel judged. So both men leave and they liked both of them. But to be honest, I think Andre is the man that Cynthia wants. But Anthony is the man that Cynthia needs. And it's so tough because, you know, she's still fighting with her old self and the type of partners that she's used to choosing. And old habits die hard. You know, I just pray that she finds somebody real because it's hard to choose what you deserve when you've cheated yourself for so long. It's like you don't even really know how to choose no more. So it's like you think you're doing the right thing, but really it's still a fool. Moving forward. In the next scene, Mercedes invites her friend Vanessa to meet Mark Anthony. Baby, this right here was something else. So Mark Anthony shows up dressed in his finest. I think he got confused and thought he was going to meet Jeffrey, honey. He had on his suit. So he shows up and her friend is like, so how is it going to work? Because I'm hearing that this is going to be a long distance relationship. He said, well, it's going to work because I'm going to go work in New York. I have a house here as well. She was like, well, I mean, is she supposed to follow you to New York? He said, well, I'm going to be the breadwinner. So, I mean, yeah. And I was just wondering, what does Mark Anthony do? I know he said he was going to pilot school, but what is his actual career? So her friend is trying to figure out what is going to happen between the two of them with all this traveling back and forth. She asking a million and one questions. He can't answer them quick enough. These two going back and forth and forth and back. And she's like, wait a minute. So you seem stubborn. So he was like, yeah, I mean, I, I am. I am stubborn. That's just who I am. She's like, oh, okay. So are you willing to change? So he starts to explain. She's like, it's a yes or a no. I said, girl, ma'am, hold up a second. If he cannot express it to you, how do you know if he gonna change or not? So he gets up and he leaves because Mercedes knows that it's going left. So she was like, you know what? Before you get your head bit off any further, you can go and go. The friend is like, you know, I mean, he's cute or pretty, but what will y'all do when it's time for this long distance relationship thing? When y'all don't even have a foundation, like what's going to go on? Vanessa was coming in hot. Now I understand her looking out for her friend, but she didn't even give him a chance to answer before she piped up with something else. Like allow him to answer the question first. Now, granted, they were some good questions, but you were just too much. You were team too much. I feel like these two will have a little fun together, but I don't see it as a forever thing. 
I definitely don't hear no wedding bells. Over on the other side, Jeffrey is introducing Andre to her sister. And so her sister asks, what drew him to Jeffrey? He's like, you know, we have this energy, even when we aren't speaking. When y'all ain't speaking, y'all kissing. That's the energy y'all have and that hunching energy. And y'all ain't fooling me. So she was like, well, how does she compare to the other women? He was like, there's no comparison. She's the most feminine. Why is she the most feminine? Because she uses that damsel in distress voice on you. And she always looking sleepy and whatnot. And you feel like you got to pick her up and keep her from fainting. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But what makes her so feminine, child? Oh, I'm not about to play. He said, you know, that he's seen her kids before because her sister was asking, you know, what do you feel about her having children? He said he's seen the kids before. The kids are, are beautiful. I'm like, oh, not Jeffrey to introduce the kids already. Jeffrey, slow down, slow down. We don't know if Andre and his tendril are going to be around. Now, I know they probably could relate to him with the toddler hairstyles and whatnot, but you don't know this man yet. So just one second. So he was just like, you know, I've had kids as far as being a stepdad is concerned so I'm ready to take on that responsibility and I feel like his answers are different than what he was given when he was sitting with Cynthia's family Andre I don't know I, I I just really don't know he said it was hard meeting both of Jeffrey and Cynthia's families so he hopes that he makes the right decision you've already made your decision quit playing in our faces but anywho so her, he leaves her sister likes him but she feels like he's going to play it safe when there's kids involved and she doesn't want Jeffrey to compromise herself. Side note, Jeffrey, nah, I don't like that storm wig and it's confessional now, Jeffrey. I don't like it. And I see you got it on for that union. Why would you wear your storm wig down to the reunion? And you know what it made me think? And I know I'm not crazy. Did you shoot that confessional right before you went in to change into your reunion dress? Because I noticed that the, you had like on a, like a Sherpa type jacket and you were sitting there with the exact same hair. So it made me think that you were doing pickup interviews and you came in and you did this interview and they inserted here because it's so out of place and it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And y'all ain't fooling me. Also, is that your play sister or your real sister? Comment down below and let me know, girl. I ain't never seen you over here in the comments, but just let me know if that's your real sister or not. Okay, because the people say it's looking a little funny. So her sister goes, oh, girl, come on, let's go have us a drink. Maybe I can find me a biblical husband. Oh, honey, please leave the biblical husbands at the house. So Tommy is back. He said, we met 16 singles at the start of this journey. To prove love exists in Miami, we added four additional singles. Cynthia, Mark Anthony, Fabrice, and Janique. And after 10 weeks of heat, romance, and drama, only the final couples remain. Let's see who chooses who. Child, let's get into this. So Mark Anthony and his wedding tux, they're waiting for Mercedes. Mark Anthony know he can put on a suit, don't he? Yes, ma'am. So she shows up. And when I tell you, I said, okay. Legs and hips and body, body. I said, okay, Mercedes. She looked so cute. So they're standing there. And they look so cute together. Aw, young lust. Because <laughs> it definitely ain't no young love, child. Over across the bridge, grimy Tony shows up to meet Morgan. He was like, you know, no matter what anybody says, you know, it's my choice. Okay, outfit. I see Morgan showing up in her red dress. Slip on your red dress. Let your hair down. I know that's right, girl. So Tony is speaking his speech. Child, talking about through the entire process. Anywho, sir, you were dating someone else through the entire process. He's like, I choose you. I'm sure you do. Back over with Mercedes and Mark Anthony. She's telling him that she thanks him for being her friend. Thank you for being a friend. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so he, she's thanking him for being a friend and whatnot. She tells him that she moved to Florida to find an anchor and to get into a long distance relationship with no anchor would be like a boat without a sail. So she's going to have to choose herself. Wow. Now, let me tell you something. I did not see that coming, especially with her being a flight attendant and always traveling. I mean, eh, she hit him with the spoken word snaps for Mercedes. <laughs> 
Mercedes no good and well. She gonna waste somebody's time, don't she? And girl, you knew a long time ago that you was not about to choose this man. Y'all gonna my nerves when y'all go all the way to the end. And somebody that wanted to be connected to somebody could have stayed. Girl, nobody got time to be playing with you. Child, Andre and Anthony are both waiting for their choices. And what the hell Andre got on? Andre, what do you got on? I can't stand a man that can't put himself together. Got on these dang on capris with this single tendril to the bitter end. I don't like it. Let me tell you, I would be pissed walking down to see you with this on. It shows you don't respect me. <laughs> you don't respect me. If you're going to put on these clown clothes like an extra for Universe Soul Circus, that shows me that you don't give a damn about You don't give a damn about me. And I don't like it. I really don't like it. So Cynthia shows up to Anthony. Ooh, child. Ooh, girl, you had me nervous there for a little minute. I thought you was going to show up down to what's, what's his name and his caprice, honey. I'm so happy you went over here with Anthony. So he tells her that, you know, he didn't see this coming. She's done so much to heal. So today she's a healed woman. So he chooses her. Oh, yes, ma'am. I like it. Now, I don't know if I see y'all last and I'm hoping for Cynthia's sake that y'all will, but it's cute. So Jeffrey shows up down to the clown house. Him and these capris. I am so offended by his attire. When I say so offended, I mean offended. So he said, you know, the connection is real. They communicate non-verbally. He thinks she's wonderful and he chooses her. Shocker. Back over with Morgan and Tony. Morgan is telling him his actions have embarrassed her. Okay, basically he's been playing in her face. Then she starts reciting what love is. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is understanding. You is kind. You is smart. You is important. You is the help. She was doing all of that. Okay. She said today, you're not ready to love. Morgan, 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 Morgan. <laughs> Morgan, this is not the eliminate. This is where you hear the theme song. Are you choosing yourself? What is going on? This girl said, you're not ready to love. I'm not about to play with these people. So Tony is pissed. He was like, I feel betrayed. I feel embarrassed. And you know, she gonna have to live with her decision. Y'all will be having the relations at the end of this episode. Child, I ain't got time to be playing with y'all. She was like, yeah, if he wanted to be with me, he would have never done what he did with Natasha. There you go. Bringing this woman's name up again. You love to play games. The only reason why you did this, you just want to get back at him because he hurt your feelings saying that he slept with Natasha. And when you find out what really went down, you really gonna be pissed. Okay, you just want to keep that and say that you were going to choose him and then hurt him in the end. And really and truly, it didn't hit like you thought it did. Okay, because I was just like, oh, girl, you still playing games. Anywho, we'll see y'all at the reunion. Over with Jeffrey Jackson, because y'all know she talked like a member of the Jackson family. 2300 Jackson Street, we call it home. <laughs> Over with Jeffrey Jackson. She said, I was looking for my biblical husband. Girl gone. You and Mr. Capri son, y'all gone on and fold on off into the sunset with that clown attire on. So Cynthia is telling Anthony, thank you for allowing me to be soft. So of course I choose you and cue the theme song. I'm not going to sing it because I sung it last uh, review and this finale just didn't really hit for me. So I'm happy I went on ahead and sang the theme song last review. And I hope it all works out for you, Cynthia. I wish you all of the best and that was the end of the episode now y'all listen to me next week is reunion part one there will be a live review immediately following part one of the reunion so meet me here at 8 15 friday night it's a date don't be late friday night at eight okay y'all like how i did the dr seussical the musical type thing but anywho y'all comment down below and tell me exactly what you thought about this finale i feel like it felt it fell short i mean it didn't really give me no zhuzh it didn't get nothing anywho please don't hesitate to like comment and subscribe to the channel and as always stay safe stay blessed spread love not germs peace